Hello, my very good friends. Are you ready to read? Because I got three books. I have a book about giraffes, kinda. I have a book about brothers and sisters. And I have a book about bears. Brown bears and black bears and how to find them. Why would you go looking for bears? You'll just have to find out. Before we find out, let's read Neck and Neck, Words and Pictures by Elise Parsley. And the reason I said it's about giraffes, kind of, because this is a giraffe. And this kind of looks like a giraffe, but kind of doesn't. I don't think giraffes have a long string for a neck. And it looks kind of shiny and big and bulbous. Something's wrong with that giraffe. I don't know what it is. Maybe you can figure it out. Neck and neck. Life at the zoo was glorious for Leopold. Every day, kids laughed and cheered, and the snacks, oh, there were such delicious snacks. This morning began with the usual squeals of admiration. Oh, boy, oh, boy, the tallest animal in the world. I bet he can see all the way to my house. I just love this guy. At that, Leopold sighed and turned and gasped at the gleaming smile bobbing beside him. It looks like a giraffe. But again, there's that long string fall all the way down to a little boy holding the string. Oh, you know what? I think that's a balloon. That just looks like a giraffe. But Leopold doesn't know that. It's just like the real thing, only better. Leopold heard between giggles. This giraffe is so cheerful. Well, sheesh. Uh, I can be cheerful too. Leopold grinned. It zooms and it bounces, said the kid. Uh, I zoom, I bounce, thought Leopold. It's flexible, said the kid. It smells fresh. See Leopold? Sniff, sniff. He's trying to smell himself. And I don't have to keep feeding this giraffe. Leopold glanced at the snack dispenser. Rats. He huffed off to his favorite tree for some alone time. Well, see if I care about you and that grinning goofus. Up in the prickly acacia tree, Leopold sniffed and sulked and ouch was struck by an idea. He chomped off a branch. Charge! He's running with the branch in his mouth toward the balloon. What's he going to do to that balloon with that sharp pointy stick? What's going to happen to the balloon if Leopold runs into it with that sharp, pointy stick? Blam! Well, look how frightened the little boy is. Leopold? That wasn't very nice. And now that I have your undivided attention, bring on the laughter, the cheers, and the 
this full of snacks. Huh? Ooh. How does that boy feel? He looks pretty angry to me because Leopold popped his balloon. Leopold pondered where he had gone wrong when... Ah! Look at all the balloons the kid has now. The kid hooted and danced and tripped. Leopold watched a dozen scrawny necks drift up, up, and up. To save or not to save. Hmm. Not to save. Right? <laughs> Leopold stomped back to his tree. Honestly, those shiny airheads have ruined everything. Next thing you know, they'll be taking over my habitat. <sighs> Leopold groaned <sighs> and sighed <sighs> and stretched. He cleared his throat. Fine, I give in. I just can't compete. The kid jumped up. You did it! He squealed. You saved them! You used your real, live, fuzzy, smelly, long neck, and you saved them! There was laughter. There was cheering. And the snacks? Those snacks tasted better. Than ever. Boy, yo, 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 yo. The end. Do you have a brother? Do you have a sister? Are you brothers and sisters? This is a book about a brother and a sister, but really it's about anybody getting along with anybody else. This book is called Sour Cakes. Words by Karen Crossing and pictures by Anna Kwan. Sour Cakes. Get up, get up. Let's play outside. Why out? Today I like in. So we'll stay inside. What will we play? I don't care. You pick. How about a song? We can whisper it soft. Why soft? I like today loud. Then we'll yell a song for the world to hear. You yell it. He seems kind of grumpy today. Will you color a picture? Yellow, pink, red? I like gray.
then we'll scribble with gray till our crayons break. You scribble. That's rude. You like baking treats. We'll make them taste sweet. Why sweet? I feel sour. Then we'll bake our sour cake served with... I don't want to bake. I don't want to color. I don't want to sing. What do you want? I want... I want... I want to throw rocks and kick leaves. I want the sun to turn off and the flowers to melt away. And after that, what do you want to do after that? I want fog to crash down on big monster feet. And then, I want to disappear. Can I disappear with you? I could bring a song to yell, and a picture that's gray, and a cake that's sour. It could be sweet. Then a cake that's sweet. We can each take a bite. And can we dance? Yes, we'll dance on big monster feet. We'll twirl and thump Stomp and jump till the fog fades away. Yes. And then let's play. The end. He's just having a bad day. A little cranky. We all get like that, right? Right? I'm not cranky now because I get to read to you. Our last book is called A Beginner's Guide to Bear Spotting. I think he's going to look for bears. Words by Michelle Robinson and pictures by David Roberts. Why would you go looking for bears? Now there is a lot to look at in this book. So this would be a good one to get from your library so that you can take your time with it. Going for a walk in bear country? You'd better make sure you know your bears. This is a black bear. Figure one, black bear, Ursus americanus. This is a brown bear. Figure two, brown bear, Ursus arctos. And that is, that is just plain silly. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. You ought to, you know. Bears can be very dangerous. If you get them mixed up, Either one of them could eat you. Now are you paying attention? Okay, here's what you need to know before you start walking. Black bears are dangerous and black. Brown bears are dangerous and brown. Although... Sometimes brown bears can be a little black, and black bears can be a little brown. 
Don't worry, chances are you won't even see a bear. Oh, you lucky thing. You found a bear. I think it's a black one. It must be. Brown ones can't climb trees. Did you know black bears weigh about 400 pounds? With a black bear, the best thing to do is back away slowly. This must be your lucky day. You found a brown bear too. With a brown bear, the best thing to do is play dead. Although, to a black bear, that's like an invitation to dinner. This would be a good time to use your pepper spray. Pepper spray works on both kinds of bears. It makes them dizzy. Or was that hungry? Yep, definitely hungry. Got any porridge? Gum? What on earth are you going to do with a pack of gum? Oh. Pop! Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Quick, run for it! Oops! This boot got stuck in the gum. Well, I'm afraid I'm all out of ideas. Got anything else in that bag? Underwear. Nope, too flashy. A book. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Nope, that'll never do. How about this? What did I tell you about that silly thing? It's soft, and it's silly, and it's... Wonderful! It's working! Well, I never. I take it all back. Bears can be dangerous. But they can also be very, very sweet. Psst, don't forget the golden rule of bear spotting. Real bears aren't this friendly. You should only ever snuggle up to the snuffed, stuffed kind. Don't say, I didn't warn you. Now you know what to do when you spot a bear. Don't snuggle them, right? Three books. That's it. So what do we do now? We practice our waving. And we practice saying... Practice saying what? I love you. How could we say I love you? Oh, yeah. Pull out your fist. Put out your pinky finger and your pointy finger, and your thummy finger, and this means I love you. Here we go. You ready? Okay. I love you. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. I love you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. See you next time. Bye.